And Home and Away is at the earlier time of 5 to 1 today as we make room for our bank holiday matinee, Pirates of the Caribbean. Curse of the Black Pearl at 25 past 3, but now on 1, Shortland Street. You'll trust me with your car, won't you? Okay, thank you. Come on. And I thought I was a disaster magnet. Uh, I've got a car. I'm going to see you again. Uh, call me tomorrow. I have lunch with me. I'd like that. And I need to know once and for all if I'm wasting my time or if there's any hope for us. You have to tell me. What would you like me to do with the leftovers? What I would like is an answer to my question. Please don't do this, Karen. Don't make me responsible for your choices. It's too late. Well, it's unfair. The timing's all wrong. I've got too much to think about. And mostly that's Chris. It's all right. I, I get it. I know you, Libby. He's your knight in shining armour. He's your little girl fantasy. And it's all right to want the best. You deserve it. But Warner isn't the best. He's your boss, he's married, and he won't give you what you need. What we have is special. But it won't make forever. Oh, store. check this out, bro. That Tupac documentary is going to be on in like 10 minutes. Which one? There's heaps. A good one, man. You know the one with all the awards? Ah, oh, no way. Mm. Oh. No, I can't. i got to go to work. <laughs> Those dirty dishes, they just can't do them without you. Ah, uh, no fish factory hanging over my head. Well, something will come up. Yeah, not watching Tupac, it won't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spot us 10. What for? Well, a man's got to keep up his strength when he's job hunting. <laughs> hey, that back. You want money, you work for it like the rest of us. You ready? I reckon. The new chef that Karen's got scary. Don't want to be late. Clock's ticking, Tony. So gorgeous, Gav. Are you going to take me out for a drink tonight? Well, that depends. Are we talking you and me drinks or a cast of thousands? Tonight, I want you all to myself. What do you reckon? What Joey will say that intrigues me. Well, he understands that I'm keeping my options open. What time do you finish? Uh, it depends on Justine. Oh, I can um, text you. Sure. Oh, check that thing out. Looks like it costs more than my car. <laughs> With every cent. My life's on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Glad I caught you. IV drug register. I just realised you're not on it. I am pretty sweet with all that stuff. I'm sure you are, but you need to pass a test. Hospital policy. If you say so. All the details are in there. Including in all workstations login. I'd like it back by the end of the shift. Oh, I am pretty busy. You can't give IV drugs without passing. Get it done, eh? Yes, boss. Yep. Hi, it's me. Something's come up. I need your help. Stop being all mysterious and tell me. Is it a beautiful thing or is it a beautiful thing? Karen went to a lot of trouble. Oh, counting now. One, two... Look, things are complicated, okay? Is it not a chance in hell complicated or I can't make up my mind complicated? We've been through so much. I just... I don't know. What's the status of the police investigation? You'll have to ask them, I'm afraid. I don't know. Have you considered closing Shorten Street? Absolutely not. We remain an important resource for the Ferndale community. We won't let them down. What can you tell us about the mutilations? Again, that's a question for the police. What about Brenda Holloway? Oh, Was sorry, she... no one wants answers more than me, but for now, I don't have any. My priority is staff and patient welfare, so if you'll excuse me. If we do have any useful information for you, my lovely assistant, Libby Jeffries, has you all on speed dial. Thanks a lot. Complicated, huh? You're right. Yeah, Mark. Unless you've got some jobs going. 
Any experience? Uh, no, but I could learn. Sorry. Yo, hip hop boy. Hey, what's up? Right now, coffee and cake. Why don't join us? Uh, I'm a bit skint. Stink. Yeah, actually, I'm looking for work. TK said if I don't get a job, can't stay and go to music school. That so sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, two long blacks and one flat white and three pieces of that. Okay. I'll pay you back. Forget it. You're a struggling artist. Mm, struggling's right. But we at this wicked uh, busking gig, earning top dollar, and you'd think they let us do it, eh? Uh, I reckon the fun want me home now for sure, to work in a fish factory. Well, maybe we can help. Angus and I are full of great ideas, right? Right. Okay, so music's the obvious first choice. Have you recorded any lyric stuff? You could burn CDs and sell them at the markets. Ooh, gotta buy the discs. No moolah. Mm. A job at the record store? Mm. Okay, come on, Angus, your turn. Uh, what about a car wash? We did it at my old school. Made heaps. Or just windscreens. You know, be a squeegee bandit. Like at the traffic lights. Yeah, all we'd need is a bucket, a cleaner, and one of those wiper things. Uh, I don't know. A lot of people really hate those guys. No, it'll be fun. We've got all the stuff. Sweet. <laughs> all done. The RV test. All completed and on the net as requested. Better take a look then. You didn't waste any time. Well, I thought, get it over and done with once I actually sat down and did it. Easy peasy. You think or you know? Well, fingers crossed. Well done, you aced it. I think I've earned myself a celebration latte. You shouldn't even be here, Mum. Oh, no sense to tidy up. But after the funeral, I thought I'd go away somewhere for a few days. That's a great idea. It'll do you the world of good. Be nice if you came with me. I don't fancy being alone. Not now. I'm needed here. Of course you are. Maybe I'll visit Myra and the baby. Nice one, Lib. Well, I didn't hear you volunteering to go. She didn't ask me. Well, Chris is relying on me. There's the admin, the media, the police liaison. Not to mention the ridiculous imaginary romance. For your information, he referred to me as lovely this morning. You are so utterly deluded. This isn't real. What's real is there's a guy out there who totally loves you. Well, I can't trust Karen. He has lied to me over and over again, and he's a cheat. And Chris isn't. Karen's changed a lot. Well, we're different. Our lives couldn't be more opposite. Chris and I, we are cut from the same cloth. He's successful, sophisticated, smart. Obsessed with work. Oh, and don't forget all the screwed up marriages. I mean, he's never even expressed an interest in you. Perhaps, but until he indicates otherwise, I'm not going to give up. I know he's got baggage. I know it's not going to be easy. But I'm willing to deal with those things. I could make Chris happy times. I know I could. 